from the PC Jack. Today I thought I'd do uh, something a little different for you guys and uh, do a little uh, office uh, slash uh, uh, setup sort of tour. It's uh, going to be refurbished fairly soon as I do need to get a bit more space to actually be able to work and to film. So I thought it'd be a good way just to uh, compare what it is actually done and also show you guys uh, what's going on at the moment in here. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. We'll uh, work our way from the left where I do most of my work over to uh, my actual desk and uh, I can show you everything uh, along the way but uh, let's start off over here, what have we got? Ah yes, this is super useful if you're doing a lot of building. Magnetic screw tray, you can uh, obviously once you're building a PC you don't want bits flying around so you can uh, take your screws like we've got a power supply screw here, you can just lob it in and uh, not lose it so that's really handy and then we come across to the the man drawers they just fill with lots of random stuff let's take a look what we got in this drawer we got boxes what else is in here oh we got a load of stock coolers we've got a, an old AMD stock cooler probably never going to be used ever again and uh, an AMD Rape Stealth cooler, yeah, we got stuff like that. We got splitters, cable extensions, fans, yeah, lots of uh, random stuff. What's next? What we got? Again, another two stealth coolers. I've got quite the collection going on, and just random boxes, random boxes. What was it? Optical drive in there. Oh well, I have to use that for something. And then, what else we got? More boxes and then oh we got cable central there's loads of random stuff there's a HTPC remote yeah just any cable that exists is in here like, why do I have why do I have this I'm never gonna use this and then up top I'm just I've got my Oculus Rift S um, stored away I should get a proper place to store this but uh, it's out the way and uh, sunlight doesn't reach up there, which is obviously uh, quite a concern if you're uh, storing your uh, VR headset, so uh, you don't want that to damage the lenses, but it's perfectly safe up there. And what is this? Tell you what, let's do, let's do a live unboxing, just to see what this is, because I can't remember. Let's see, this is very difficult with one hand. Uh, what have we got? Ah, uh, uh, I remember now. Uh, so these are uh, rubber corners for Corsair fans. I was, I was looking for a Corsair ML Pro RGB fan, just a 120, a single one for my PC, but there were literally none in stock whatsoever. So I, in the end, I just, because I never change the colors on my RGB fans, they're always red. I just thought, so I'll, I'll just get a standard red LED ML fan. But it comes with these red corners. But uh, I thought if I, I could swap these over and it would look a bit more, uh, or le less inconspicuous. But I kind of got attached to the, the red corners, so I thought, you know, it, it's a bit of flair, it's, it makes it stand out, so I just completely forgot about these. So uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try them out one day, but uh, for now, they can live somewhere else. So, and then we've got, this is my general workstation area. And uh, it's a bit cramped, but it does the job for now. But uh, we've got these drawers full of uh, everything you could possibly need for PC building. So we got every kind of screw you could possibly need. All their motherboard screws and stuff like that, yeah. You get the idea, tons of screws. Uh, case fans, I don't know why I have a drawer for case fans because there's only two 140 AF Corsair fans. Then we got manuals galore. So if you're ever building something or having to troubleshoot, there's just all the manuals you could possibly need. But you can also just go online. Never mind. Um, what have we got? Uh, zip tie galore. We got uh, thick, longer zip ties. We got small zip ties. You know, obviously you need that for your cable management, and uh, it's extremely useful. Um, film a page drawer. There we go. We just got tons of. I've had so many coolers, and uh, this, they all come with different film paste. We got a Noctua film paste. And we got what's this? Master Gel, Cool Master. Doesn't even have a brand on it, same as that one. We've got Arctic Silver. Um, yeah, and then we've also got Filmopace Remover. Now, this is the 
OctaClean uh, two-part remover, which is so good. I use it whenever I'm having to clean CPUs or coolers. Basically, you use the first part, which is essentially to remove the thermal paste, and then once you've cleaned it off, you use the second part, which purifies the surface and gives it a really nice shine. And uh, I know you can't just get isopropyl alcohol yourself, but I really like this stuff and uh, it does a great job, so uh, I can highly recommend it if you need to clean your CPU or anything like that. And uh, you may be wondering why there's a makeup brush in this drawer. Now, I uh, obviously don't use makeup, but this is super useful for dusting in your PC. Now, obviously there is a concern about static uh, buildup, but uh, with the bristles on this, they uh, don't seem to generate that much static electricity as I've used it countless times to clean uh, dust off motherboards. And uh, I'll show you the exact way I do use it in an upcoming video for how to clean your PC. So uh, yeah, but it does the job great and uh, the brush is super soft so obviously it's not going to damage any of the uh, components on your PCB. So uh, yeah, really useful. What else we got? Um, oh, can't even open this one. Oh, it's just back plates and drive caddies, a ton of stuff. Um, some cable extensions, cable cones, just random PSU stuff. Um, what's in here? And then we got uh, this splitters and an AD strip, that probably doesn't work anymore. Um, we got that god awful 12 pin adapter from Nvidia, that's going to live in there forever now. And so like I said, this is the actual workstation area and um, I wanted to make sure I was working on something while uh, I was filming this just to show you guys what it's like in here. So uh, as you see we're doing a bit of uh, maintenance on uh, the Wii Man, my mini ITX uh, VR system. So um, I'm actually swapping out the CPU at the moment. I did have a see Focus uh, Ryzen 5 2600X in here, and uh, it's a great CPU. It's uh, a little hot though in here, but uh, I'm popping in a Ryzen 5. There we go, a Ryzen 5 3600. Now uh, it's a great CPU, and uh, obviously it's not quite. Uh, you, you probably go for the 5600X nowadays, but uh, there is a reason I'm using this at the moment instead of the 5600X. I can't tell you why yet, but uh, you will find out soon what I'm using this CPU for, as well as being in, uh, obviously, in the Wii Man. But uh, there is a different purpose to why I've got this, this, uh, this CPU, so uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys. What else we got on the table? We got uh, an iFixit toolkit. My overly long screwdriver, which is uh, super useful for screwing in your motherboard or for installing CPU, uh, CPU coolers. Yeah, and uh, Shadow Rock LP over there, just uh, chilling. As I said, it's super clean from uh, using that after clean stuff. Uh, see another PSU fan. We got a 3060 Ti just hanging out. Um, 710, because. Well, because you can't get anything else. Now I use that for troubleshooting sometimes and um, other stuff. I don't know if I'll do a video on that, maybe like um, see what retro games you can get on there. Could be uh, an interesting video. And yeah, just, um, just an NHL 9A just chilling over there. So, uh, and then we come over to my actual um, PC setup. So, uh, got that uh, brand new GN uh, desktop wallpaper they sent out to their Patreon. Uh, members, so uh, yeah, like that at the moment. Let's um, maybe I should run over what I got. And um, no, I was just watching the WAN show. So this is a Acer. Smash the keyboard, and you'll know the serial number, model number. Yeah, it's just a 1080p, 144 hertz TN uh, display. Nothing particularly special, but I just use it as you can see, like um, when I'm browsing, and uh, I use uh, OBS on this one, so I can monitor what I'm doing if I'm recording stuff or streaming. Yeah, it's, uh, it does the job. And uh, then what else we got? We got the HyperX Quadcast. Uh, I've been using this all the time for doing my videos, and it's super useful. And then we've got again uh, an MSI display. I cannot tell you the model number because they just make it up nowadays. But it's a 144 hertz 1440p VA panel. It's such a good monitor. I've had had this quite a while now, and uh, it's awesome, especially with this uh, slight curve. I think it's uh, 100R. I might be wrong. I can't quite remember, but uh, 
and then uh, we've got the uh, K60 RGB Mini, which is uh, one I covered in a video a couple of weeks back, and then we've got the Logitech G Pro, which I just covered in a recent video. Yeah, there's a bunch of Funkos on the t on the desk. I'm not a collector of Funkos. I just kind of like decorating them, but uh, uh, decorate my desk. And then we've got these Created Pebble Plus something speakers. They're not like uh, top of the range uh, audio file quality, but they're not bad for what they do. And uh, you can obviously you get the two speakers you pop on your desk. And then there's also a sub underneath my desk, and uh, it does a pretty good job for what I use it for. And then if you look behind here, you can see this uh, KVM switch. Now this is super useful for when I've got uh, systems uh, over on my left where the Wii Man is. If I'm trying to set something up, I can just uh, take this and connect it to it and uh, use my uh, normal peripherals when I'm uh, working on systems. Yeah, and then we got my uh, my main system, Big Red. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on this in the past, but uh, if you're uh, new to the channel, this is a Ryzen system with a Ryzen 9 3900 XT 12 core 24 thread CPU. That's paired with uh, RTX 3080 Founders Edition, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's my daily driver. I use it for gaming, for video editing, just for everything. Yeah, there it is, all. Uh, that are pretty plain, but you know, that's what I like, and it's all in the fractal design mesh 5C. Great uh, case for airflow with this full front mesh panel. Yeah, and then my chair, I use the Corsair T3, I believe it's called. But um, yeah, the one thing is that I'm gonna have to show you because it's so atrocious, and I apologize in advance, but uh, I kind of gave up on cable managing this mess. I'm constantly unplugging and replugging in stuff and I kind of just gave up, but uh, I am going to have to sort this out at some point. Oh, that's another thing I forgot, and then in the back, there we go, this is my network switch. So this room is absolutely awful for Wi-Fi signal, and uh, I've got to go wired, but what I decided to do, I've got a Ethernet cable running all the way downstairs to my router. And then I've just got this little short uh, Ethernet cable plugged directly into my main system. And then we've got this additional black one that's uh, just plugged in ready and I can use that to connect to systems that I'm working on. That's, uh, that's PC Jack HQ. It's uh, a work in progress, you know, but uh, I like it, it gets the job done. And uh, yeah. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on way soon. Let me know down in the comments whether you approve or disapprove of uh, the uh, setup and the office itself. Uh, like I said, it's going to be uh, improved over time, but uh, I thought I'd just show you guys uh, as I'm here now, just uh, doing some work. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.